Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Miller is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. He's got the corner. He's to the 20, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 23-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pitch to the left. They'll bring him down around the 23 yard line. That makes it six and two. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Here's the tight end. Drop. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. What a collision! When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets out to around the 38. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Frazier will run it again. Tackle made the 37-yard line. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Quick throw. Tackle around the 25-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Carries the ball for a nice game. Frazier gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll work the left. And they got him for a loss.
He's going to go for the home run. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. the 19 yard line about a five yard pickup on the old play action pass i gotta give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one tackle made at the 49 yard line Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Here's the halfback. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Sacks. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. Quickly, it's almost intercepted. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. And now we'll see what happens here on this big fourth down. Georgia is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And he just drilled it from long range. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Georgia's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run up the middle. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on their own 46 nice play fake they bring the quarterback down coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better So the sack makes this a second and long. On play action. 
Get to that quickly. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Gets rid of it quickly. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. First and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Patterson gains about four yards on the play. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the eight-yard line. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. That'll make it fourth and six. Kentucky can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts to play. tailback and he's taken down around the 26 yard line so it's second and ten ball on the 26 he's got it out to his tight end and he's tackled the 39-yard line. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. She does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. He's taken down at the 48. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Patterson's nice to ball loose. That'll make it third and one. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Miller awaits the snap. From the 15. 
He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You've got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Nice run there. Patterson gained seven yards on that play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. So at the end of one quarter, 3-3 three, three tie. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. He's got the corner. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Third and five. Ball on the 49-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. And they're coming after this punter. A little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Side. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. And he's level at the 23. That's good for gaining three yards. That makes it third and seven. a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Miller is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 49. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll drop him for a loss. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Oh, 
pitches it, and he'll lose yardage. The defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. And here's a quick throw. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. The secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Trying to get a head start there. Ball start. Ball start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Second down and 16. Ball on the 32. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Nice catch on that one. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Jones makes the set at the 21-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kentucky could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. They'll bring him down at the 21. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. their own 20-yard line. It's second down. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. Miller is the putter. And they push him out at the 50. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but it's not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down close to their opponent's territory. Kentucky holds a field goal lead. They'll work the left side. Patterson gets six yards on the carry. away here on second down.
Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Nichols was the intended receiver on that play. That'll bring up third and four. quickly and it's picked off he just jumped up and snatched that ball well there I don't think the quarterback even saw him the defender went up into the air and made a great catch from their own 40 yard line first down He makes his way to about the 48. A nice job That's by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. Feeds it to the back. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Frazier takes a handoff. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Georgia! And for Frazier, he's had no problem finding running room today. The game plan they devised has been working fantastically. And nowhere has that been more evident than in the rushing numbers. converts the extra point with a three-play 60-yard drive and they get it in for seven so our score 10 six looks like they're ready for the kick he kicks it off and he got all of that one and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line but well, this is a very competitive game just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And off up the middle, and he's stopped. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 20. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. He's to the 40. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. down oh. 
caught out in the open. And he's taken down at the 43. From the 43-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires complete over the middle. He's at the 30. And he's tackled at the 28. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. That makes it second and 10. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Throws it. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. So our score, Georgia 10, Kentucky 9. Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that, from going to the meetings the other day, is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. From their own 29-yard line, third down. We've played a half. The Bulldogs lead 10-9. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight Hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that. As a great, every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play. I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. 
Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Georgia up a point. And he makes it on to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Throws it away. They'll bring him down to the 30 yard line. Miller to punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. No biting on the play fake that time. That's a loss of seven yards. Third down. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Gets rid of it quickly. This one will fall incomplete. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. From their own 27-yard line, it's first down. Georgia with a one-point lead. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Tackle at the 30. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. It all going deep. Knocked down, incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one.
Gets to about the 37-yard line. He showed a good verse there. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. All start offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. The halfback with a carry. Gets to about the 34-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That'll bring up second and 12. they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So the sack makes this third and very long. Tackle made right around the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Georgia is up one. Brought down to the open field. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Around the 46-yard line. That makes it Caught open field. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. Seven coming up here. Ball on their own 49. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Brought down at the 46. About five yards that time on the throw. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Run and he's brought down. That's a First, down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Georgia up a point. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 26. That's a game 15 on the play. First down. out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. 
is the ninth play of this drive. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down again. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. it up and it's long enough and he splits the uprights. Miller has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29. Gorgeous, the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. It, I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and the linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Wow, superb diving grab. Now that was no routine catch right there, Brad. You've got to have some serious skills to be able to come up with that ball. room there as they try to work the left side. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. Again with a carry. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. They'll bring him down at the 35 yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Georgia is up four. Knocked out of bounds at the 42. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gives it off. And he shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Run left side. He makes his way out to about the 35. That's a deal of ten. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. It's the tailback. He's at the 20. And he's tackled around the 12 yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 12. Well, let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. 
Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Tackles him hard at the nine. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. From the nine-yard line, it's second down. Georgia holds a four-point lead. Bowens gains seven yards on that play. That'll bring up third and inches. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 13-9, Bulldog. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. You've got to wonder here, early in the fourth quarter, if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He goes out of bounds at the two. Well, I thought they'd keep it on the ground here, but they go to the air and pick up the first down. I think the defense thought they were going to the ground as well. And that's what let this guy get open for a split second and get the first down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They go to the ground game. Touchdown, Bulldogs! He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he adds the extra point. set to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. This is where you always hear that saying, the big-time players make big plays in big games. But this is where somebody on this offense needs to step up and be that big-time player. He chucks it downfield. He's taken down at the 35. The defense has got to play until the game is over. You can't give up some big plays and give this team some life and give them a chance to maybe tie this game up. You've got to close the door. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. They'll bring him down at the 25. Setting up the play action. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They'll work the left side. Makes it to the 22-yard line.
catches it, and that's all. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. From the 17-yard line, second down. Throws it to the outside. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And he's hit immediately. They get three yards on the play. Freshman took the quick pass, but the defense made a very nice read on the play. He didn't have anywhere to go. They're at the two. Second down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone. He showed you why right there. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They don't get it. So an eight-play, 76-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Get to that quickly. Seven yards there. Hey, we picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they make the stop at the 33. down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pass has caught the defense lays him out. That'll make it second and four. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 38. Tackle made at about the 49. First down. He'll get it again. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. From the 49-yard line, second down, five wide. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And they push him out at the 45-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Release tight end incomplete. Williams is intended to see the only play. Fourth down. 
Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. And he's tackled at the 22. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Slings it. The 50. Brought down around the 40-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Smith takes it right side. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. in their short yardage package. And they won't get the two. Kentucky gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. catch and he's got nowhere to go from their own 26 yard line it's second down pulls it in and he's in the open field and down he goes at the 30 yard line Just over two minutes in the game. And he's going to be sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. The best one of those is an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out. But you're going to get a pair of stuff on there. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it.
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackles around the 24-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Nice run up the middle. Patterson gains about five yards on the run. Second and five. Ball on the 19. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Pressure coming. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks up. And he splits the uprights. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 24-20. Kentucky. Kentucky ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Well, this is an opportunity here for this defense to be able to get to victory and to be able to get off of this field. The offense is going to be very aggressive. All the defense has to do is either come up with a stop or a turnover, and the game is over. Rose almost picked off. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and From their own 17-yard line. It's second down. Just over a minute left. Gets it out in a hurry. The ball is loose. The offense falls on it. Once it all, going deep. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. He guns it. That close to being intercepted. Saved a very big play. And he stops the clock with a spike. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's going right. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Might have been some early movement up front. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. He's knocked out of bounds around the six-yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Very good job of coverage on the play. The freshman receiver made a nice play, but there was no room for him to run after the catch. He's under pressure. They bring him down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Spikes the ball. 
So it's fourth and goal. And it looks like the offense is going to try to throw one in the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ball game. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. Kentucky is up four, takes a knee. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 24-20, Wildcats. And that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.